Immigration, trade, and the fentanyl crisis are key focuses in Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador's last six months in office. In an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes, Lopez Obrador discussed his continuing influence on the future of U.S.-Mexico relations. After a record-breaking influx of 250,000 migrants at the U.S. southern border, President Biden reached out to Lopez Obrador for assistance. Their cooperation led to a significant 50 percent decrease in migrant crossings. However, he says the flow of migrants will continue if the U.S. doesn't fix the root causes. We must we were more careful about our southern border. We spoke with the presidents of Central America, with the president of Venezuela, and with the president of Cuba. We asked them for help in curbing the flow of migrants. However, that is a short-term solution, not a long-term one. Lopez Obrador's fix includes sending $20 billion a year to Latin America and the Caribbean to address migration causes, lift sanctions on Venezuela, and end the Cuban embargo. He also insists on legalizing law-abiding Mexicans living in the U.S. Lopez Obrador discussed his interactions with U.S. Presidents Trump and Biden. Despite Trump's claims about building a wall, Lopez Obrador believes such measures are ineffective and emphasized the mutual benefits of cooperation through agreements like the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, a trade pact spearheaded by the Trump administration to replace NAFTA. His approach to reducing violence in Mexico includes disbanding the federal police and establishing a National Guard for public security. He also invested millions in job creation for youth aiming to reduce cartel influence. Since these changes, the Mexican government reports a nearly 20 percent decrease in homicides. He credits his popularity to his government's emphasis on social programs and fighting corruption, despite Transparency International noting no progress in Mexico's corruption. According to CBS, Lopez Obrador plans to retire from politics after his term. The country's elections take place in June, and his protege, Claudia Scheinbaum, already holds a significant lead in the races.